So the introduction to open intelligence and places like this where we share the introduction of, to open intelligence and then also have the means available to make it obvious in our experience. And that's why we offer the, the four mainstays to, uh, to train up in open intelligence. And like you heard in the video, to train up in complete relaxation. Doesn't matter what's occurring, there's complete relaxation, even though like I think it's 50 degrees up here or you're sweaty or it's, it's, it's just whatever the data are, there's complete relaxation. And, or you walk out, you go to the beach, um, wh whatever the data is, whatever the experience is, com there's complete relaxation. There's <clears throat> obviousness of open intelligence, which is our fundamental nature. And how can we know open intelligence? Stop thinking for a moment. I can drink while you stop thinking. <laughs> we have to do that again, though, because it needs to be the introduction to open intelligence. <laughs> so you stop thinking for a moment and stop laughing. No, it's all inseparable. That's what the power is. And when you stop thinking for a moment, there's an alertness and a clarity that is um, that is the power of open intelligence, the power to know. And it's inseparable from anything that appears, like any thought you have, because we really can't stop thinking, really. The thoughts are unpredictable and countless and ceaseless. So they're inseparable from open intelligence, this beneficial potency. And, and, and the laughing or the sadness, like thinking, oh, I, I really, really just want to stay in Goa. I always want to stay where I am anyway, so these are my, like data like that. So then, oh, I don't want to leave. And, 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 and maybe feeling the sadness or feeling the missing that. And, the, oh, and some of you might really, really look forward to leave or some of you are really, really sad to leave. But whatever the experience is, the power of so lucky to, to know open intelligence is fundamental basis that is the go-to and so reliable. It's so, it, without knowing what is stable about ourselves, we jump from one thought to another thought. When, when we speak about data, it's actually all thoughts, emotions and experiences just packed together in one word, data. But that's what the experience can look like having countless thoughts, emotions, feelings, and just being like, like juggled around with all these different thoughts and emotions and experiences all day long. So jumping from one to the next, being pulled back and forth. So it's a very up and down. So this freedom of, from up, ups and downs and relying on open intelligence is like so powerful and this complete relaxation. To, to know that there's something about us we can rely on completely, 100%. So the introduction to open intelligence makes clear that our mind is vast like the sky, limitless and open, and all the thoughts and emotions are inseparable like the color blue in the sky. It's like the dynamic energy of open intelligence. Without really now thinking about that, in just coming here and hearing these words, something about us is confirmed that is already present. So it's not something to get or to achieve or try to, to, to make. It's, it's more in this complete relaxation or in that moment of introduction to open intelligence. It's obvious that something about us is powerful, <coughs> strong, clear and stable and has the power to know. And we do that in a short moment, like short moments are repeated many times like one short moment just right here and then it's the next short moment of open intelligence and it becomes obvious without really much effort might be in the beginning an effort because so used to looking at the thoughts and emotions but over time it's like it's more natural that open intelligence is obvious and it's really um, brilliant and then the 12 empowerments are the uh, uh, really powerful training, a fundamental training that makes open intelligence obvious in a step-by-step -step process. 
by looking at all the thoughts and emotions that we, not analyzing them like in a therapy session, but more like looking exactly and confirming open intelligence and making it obvious. With all the belief systems we have, we make ourselves really like caged into a description, net of descriptions. And to open that up, not with changing beliefs, but with empowering open intelligence and seeing, seeing reality as it is, which enlivens beneficial potency, like really getting totally empowered, juiced up, heated up <laughs> for the benefit of all. It burns off all data. You know, the heat metaphor comes to mind being up here. And so it burns off all, all data in the fire of open intelligence that is devoted to the benefit of all. And it doesn't have to look a certain way. It looks exactly what is needed. And um, so the, yeah, the introduction to open intelligence and then the 12 empowerments, after going through empowerments one, two, three, and t up to nine, and there are 12 empowerments, but up to nine, there's just, I can completely relate, it opens up like a new world that not known before, a world of open intelligence, benefit and harmonizing relationships, like seeing ourselves and others for the first time in a way that is completely open, empowered, like human beings that are how we are meant to be. Empowered, open, connected in a way that is for the benefit of all regardless of where we come from. That's the power here. We come from all kinds of countries and traditions and belief systems, but there's something that unites us. And it's immediately obvious that we can actually live and work in a way that is empowered and we can step up and use our resources, our resources, which is open intelligence, is beneficial for energy, we can use and have like immediate access it's not like tomorrow when we meditate 12 hours or, or, or when we looked at our thoughts and emotions and analyzed them enough, then only we can be beneficial. It's immediate because it's like a built-in. It's built in to every human being. It's our mind is always vast and clear. So it's very natural to have an, a spontaneous like felt sense of gratitude after opening up this natural resource of who we are and seeing, wow, I can live this life like that is absolutely like life changing. And the 12 empowerments, and that's what we really share here when we sit here, we share our experience. And, um, and, and, and perspective changes, like we are used to talking about data streams and it can be like sometimes that you then talk it's it just what you actually are realizing is when you talk to someone who possibly, you know, is here in the role of a trainer, then you think, ah, you know, you suddenly just are reminded of a short moment <laughs> in open intelligence and you forget that you actually just wanted to indulge all your data. <laughs> but it's not the person, it's, it's yourself actually recognizing. So there's no, you know, there's a inseparable, we're, we're made of the same. But it is like that's what the four mainstays is. When you walk into the door here, you actually are reminded to take a short moment. You see each other in the community. You're reminded to rely on open intelligence. That's all what is happening here, really. And then open intelligence is more and more obvious. We forget that we actually at one point just saw the data descriptions. And now just open intelligence is more and more obvious. It's very magical. <laughs>